TastedRab.com. Watching Chef Ramsay on TV, you have no idea what he's actually like. It looks like a dehydrated camel's turd. Um, he's a real person, really tall person. Um, you know, he has a family, he has four young children, he has a wife, he does normal stuff, um, and he's really personable. Outside of the kitchen, he's like, don't call me Chef, don't call me Mr. Ramsay, you could call me Gordon, you know, and he's very open, you know. Uh, we asked him a lot of questions about his former football career, why he got into cooking, and, you know, he's very open and honest about everything. Thing. And so that's really nice for like a mentor mentee kind of relationship. Three. I mean, this is a big deal. Executive chef at a right, Ramsey exactly. restaurant. I mean, how are you going to do this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I have a strategy yet. Um, I should find out in the next two days when my start date is, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm hoping I have enough time, you know, and it's not like Monday. But um, we're planning a road trip on our way out there. It'll take us a couple days, I guess, to drive, um, and it's going to be interesting. The menu out there has Asian influence, and Andy Cook from the Tokyo restaurant has moved over there as executive chef, so that'll be interesting for me because it's definitely not something I'm familiar with. What are your favorite memories going to be from the other people that you were competing with and that you were working with on the show? Well, it's weird, you know, because you, you only met these people for 30 days, but it's 30 days, they slept in a bed next to me, you do everything together and you sort of form a bond. There is no privacy whatsoever. Um, you know, everything that one does in their daily routine, you have to do on camera. So you have to go to the bathroom, you have to take a shower, you have to change your clothes. <laughs> well, we had RoboCams in the dorm, which was great, but you could hear them whenever they focus. Uh -huh. And so you're changing your clothes and it's like, zzz, zzz, zzz. Like, come on. And there's, you know, people editing and watching and listening. And so you meet these people later on and they're like, oh, Christina, I know so much about you. I've been watching you for 30 days. I'm like, wow, I'm really kind of creeped out by that. Kind of like a Truman Show sort of right. thing. It's very strange. I think it's actually changed just about every aspect of my life, you know. Um, I try to remain the same person, you know, and not be like this big-headed monster, but uh, it definitely gave me a lot more confidence. Um, when I got back to school, I sort of was like, I don't need a recipe, I could do this, you know. Um, it's definitely changed my relationships with my friends. It's become a little more stressful to sort of keep in touch with them. Some of my relationships have changed for good, you know. My grandfather and my dad are now Hell's Kitchen junkies. They call me five times a day, um, so it, it's different, but it's good. I am like so happy on ten different levels, I can't even explain it.